Hey everybody, welcome back to Minor Stuff. I'm Matt. I'm Pat. We're, we're the Minor, Minor Brothers. Brothers. Today we're going over our EDC for work and for the fall. Let's get into it. Welcome back everybody. Before we get started, please subscribe to this channel, like this video, drop some comments down below. What do you carry on an everyday basis? Uh, Matt, we got a couple things going on. First, we got the bar behind us lit up in pink for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Uh, make sure you guys get out there, support that. We need to work on getting rid of cancer. It's a horrible, horrible thing out there for everybody. Um, what are we drinking today, Matt? We're drinking Barrel Batch 31. This stuff is fruity, delicious. Mm. Not really a fall drink for me, I think, as we get into it more. It's, it's definitely really fruity, but I'll tell you, it's good. Oh, it's and so good. after Grey Label, I think we were so disappointed. We didn't give this enough of a chance till our uh, everyday drinker turned us on to it during our blind with him. Yep. And that was great. Batch 33 was phenomenal. Um, so, Barrel, you re you redeemed yourself. You definitely Big redeemed time. yourself. And um, Barrel Vantage apparently is pretty good, too. That's one that we haven't uh, haven't seen yet. But, um, yeah, apparently it's pretty, pretty good. So, it's it's hitting the spot today. Mm. Cheers to that one. Mm. So we're gonna start talking about we're finally getting into man shit. Yes. What do we carry on an everyday basis? So there's a couple things, and and everybody's gonna have a different opinion on it. What should you be carrying on an everyday basis? Okay. I personally feel like everybody you should uh, you should always have you know a knife on you, a uh, pen on you, and then your wallet of whatever type to carry everything else that's kind of important. Um, to you is like a, as a, a as a minimum type of thing. We're gonna go over what we carry at work, and then also what we carry outside of work. And it's hard too. We're both paramedics, so everything that we use at work, um, when we use it, it gets used and it gets used hard. Um, and obviously, there's some things that we can't bring to work just because of working on the ambulance. You know, we're only allowed to have certain things. Mm. Um, so one of the things too is we can't go over everything here on this channel. Um, so there is something that we do carry pretty much every day. Um, when I'm not working, I, I think this is a thing that everybody needs to have on them. I do want to give a shout out though. I usually outside the waistband carry because I'll just wear a shirt like this, especially now it's like 30 degrees outside. Yeah. Um, covers over it great. Iggy over at Faltac, uh, he creates phenomenal holsters. This is the We the great People stuff. version. I love this holster. It, it's. It's comfortable. It it's fits held the gun up too. You had it quite a while. Perfectly. Yeah. It's it's just it's it's a great great holster. I cannot say enough about Iggy. We'll link him down below um, in the comments too. But go check him out. He he makes phenomenal stuff. Um, and everything we're going to talk about, we'll link down in the description for you guys as well, so you have an idea where to get it. Yeah. Uh, you want to start with work stuff, Matt? Yeah. Let's start with some work stuff. All right. So work stuff. Um, a lot of times we carry, well first we carry a pen because we always have to have people sign stuff. Um, you're always writing down information. I go with just the basic gel tip pen. Um, I do the same thing, something cheap that you can just sort of say. Whew. Yeah, if somebody has really disgusting hands and touches it, you know what, that's all good, I'll just get another one. Yep. <laughs> um, so I, I, I use this outside of work as well. I, I just, I don't have a different fancy pen, but this is what I use uh, for work, at work. Um, Big fan of the multi-tool at work. Uh, Matt, you sometimes use the multi-tool as well. So, my only complaint with these is they're really heavy. Yeah. And bulky. Um, so this is a Surd one. We'll, like I said, we'll link it down below. Um, it's fantastic with the pliers, your basic knife, Phillips head, you know, flat head, stuff like that. Um, nothing super, super extra special about it. Um, it's just, it's nice and it's just heavy. Is heavy. Um, That's, that one looks cool though. It's all blacked out, which is, I mean, a yeah. little bit of chrome on it, but other than that, it's all pretty much blacked out. It's, yep. it's a really nice looking one. It's a heavy duty one. Very heavy duty. The quality, I, I love the quality of this. I will say this is an amazing quality one. Um, a lot lately though, I've just been going to my, I got a 511 um, knife that I've been using. I've cut airbags with it. Um, it's got this nice little notch so we can crank an oxygen tank open um, as well if we don't have the key for that. Um, Rip and open plastic bags that we have that are sealed that are super, super thick. Um, it's just one of my, it's so light, it's so easy. It's one of my favorite go-tos. Go -to. Yep, absolutely. Um, while I'm at work. One of my work ones is I always have these ones and we've cut multiple airbags. I have uh, Kalishnikov um, from Boker. 
And this one's the reverse tan. So this is my current carry everyday knife. This one is in my pocket no matter what. Um, only because I ended up going and switching to this one. As you can see, they're both used really good. Because um, this one is dull as crap right now, and I, I have to just sharpen the blade. We cut through two airbags on this one. Basically took the, the stuff right out of the knife here, um, the sharpness. So I just got to redo that one. The only complaint I have with these is um, both of the... Um, the pocket pieces end up bending out so that they'll pop out either on a call or even now that I'm, you know, like I said, I carry these when I'm here. Um, they'll just pop out of my pocket all the time. That's the only thing I would change. But for a $40 knife, you can't really so complain. Can't these, these things have been absolutely great and, and I'd swear by them. That's why I know a lot of people carry $100 knives, $200 knives. This is a $40 knife and it has done everything that I've needed it to do, and it's probably done more work than a lot of those other knives I've done for those other people. I think every knife that I carry is under $50. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think I have one actually really expensive knife because mm -hmm. these ones do the job. I believe even my multi-tool is under $50. I, I think they, I think they, it is. I'm pretty sure mine is too. Yeah. All right, Matt, so when we're not at work, what else do we carry with us? I mean, we so also carry this stuff, you know. Everybody's got a phone. So yeah. we've got, and you can have... Samsung, whatever. I, we both have iPhones. We both have the iPhones. Uh, pairs with our um, Apple Watches. Yep. Which we both are huge fans of. I know I love it. I don't have to worry about text messages. I don't have to grab for my phone every two seconds. Yeah. I can just look at my watch. You know, somebody calls, I can just tap into it, talk to the, it. The technology in them is fantastic, too, because they have fall detection. If you're an older person, they automatically call 911. We think that's a great feature because I've gone to people that have been having problems um, and weren't able to use the phone, but their fall detection picked it up. And I also went to somebody who had, it's got the EKG um, reader on it, and they automatically tells you if you're an AFib. So a guy calls up and he's like, I got a really fast heart rate. My AFib is acting up. And I'm like, what do you mean? And his watch had it. He was able to show me a printout of it, and we were able to treat it. So uh, the technology behind it is is fantastic for more than just your you know your regular phone use. Yeah. So we're huge Apple Apple fans, and I was until probably like what six eight months ago is when I really switched over. Yep. Um, but it, it is definitely the only definitely thing is it. they need to they need to work on the battery because you need to charge it every day. I was gonna say I was it. coming from a Garmin, and I could do it for. Um, a week at a time at least. Yeah. And it would measure my sleep and everything just like this one does, but I'd get a week out of it, so. Yep. Um, so the next thing that basically we also carry, some sort of wallet. Um, I just switched from the Ridge over to this one. This one's from Volkit. Um, it's one of the Bolt releases. So as you pull down on it, it shoots your cards up. Uh, I like this one better than the Ridge, and we're going to do a deep breakdown in between this one, the Fosh, and the ridge um, as yep. sort of like the more of the minimalist walls. This one isn't fully minimalist. It opens up. It does have a cash pocket spot, which is great. I think everybody needs to carry some cash on them, um, let alone this one has a lot of space for cards. Not only do we have to carry our cards for our credit cards, license, all that type of stuff, we have to carry our work licenses on us, and I have my um, Massachusetts concealed carry license and all that yep. other type of stuff. So I have some cards that I have to carry, and it gives me the ability to do that. And then the little coin spot that they have, I actually liked it because I put an Apple AirTag in it just in case I leave this back somewhere or whatever, I have a way to find it. So yeah. I was a pretty big fan of that. I, uh, I'm still using the Fosh wallet. We did the review. If you want to click on the little link right above my head, that's our review for the Fosh wallet. Um, it is the the bolt action one, just like he has. Again, you push the thing, the cards all pop up, which is fantastic. Um, his is a little bit bigger than mine, so he can carry more stuff. I'm limited as to what I have for cards. Um, for cash, I have just this little plastic bend piece in there, and that's it. That's all that holds my cash in. Um, so I, I wish it did have a pocket so I could put the cash in, just make it a little bit more secure. But um, definitely, it's it's much nicer than what I used to have. Yeah. Half the size because I'm not storing extra crap in there that I don't need. So love love the Fosh wallet as well. Um, yeah. So the other thing I, I carry, I carry two different flashlights. So this is my um, out of work flashlight. This one was a uh, um, Lumina Top. Um, and I have a different one from work that I'll put down in the comments. So this one is battery powered. The other one is USB-C charging. I like the USB-C charger because, especially at work where I'm going to be using it more often, especially if we're on, uh, for when we're working nights and stuff like that, it's easier just to charge it, make sure I'm good to go for the whole night rather than to worry about batteries. Uh, but this one where I don't use it as much, it's nice. It's got the multi, so really bright, and then it goes down to really low. Um, so you got multiple brightness levels on it. 
Uh, this one is, as you can see, super, super small. I mean, r like, really small. Uh, and it's nice because it fits into this um, pouch that I carry sometimes. This I'm, I'm like 50% on whether I use this or not. It's got the pen in it, and it's got the spot for the multi-tool. So this is the Gerber multi-tool that I end up using. Um, this thing's been a great, great multi-tool. Um, it's, it's still, once again, heavier than a knife, but it's lighter than a lot of the other ones. But it's nice because you never know when you're going to need a screwdriver. You never know when you're going to need a knife. You never know when you're going to need pliers or something like that. And I think it's just one of those things to always have. If I don't carry this, I do have a go bag with me all the time. And I have one of these in a go bag. Um, and then the other thing that I always have is the pen. So if I'm not using the gel tip outside of work, I usually use this one. This one is a key peak. Um, and this one is, as you can see, just really heavy duty belt. So you got to twist it to get the pen out. Um, other than that, it's got like the wind, window breaker and it's just, it's a heavy, heavy duty um, pen, which is great. So, and it's nice because it slides right into here and then the flashlight slides right into. Um, so, got a spot for your keys and everything right there. Got a spot for your keys. It's basically a quick, easy, all-in-one and I just love the quality of the leather. Um, this is just a great, great little product and like I said, if I wasn't a bigger guy, I think it'd be more comfortable to, to wear this 24-7. Um, but usually it's like like right here is where I'm getting hit. You know what I mean? If it, Depending on how I sit, if it, if it folds up in the truck. Um, but other than that, this is a great little tool. And, and I actually liked it for a while, but like I said, I go back and forth on it. Um, this is, like I said, a not, this is an out-of-work thing. The other thing I usually carry um, is going to be a lighter. Um, at work, we always have our cigar. We have a travel humidor, which we'll go over on our Patreon page. Yep. Um, because I think if you're into cigars, you need to have a travel humidor of some sort. Absolutely. Um, so we have small ones. We have big ones. We've, we've tried a whole bunch of different ones. Um, I'll carry different lighters. I'm a big fan of the jet lighters, and um, they make jet inserts for these, which I think are really awesome. Yeah. Um, I do love my little Jim Bean Zippo. Um, but it's nice to have just a quality lighter at some way. you got to make fire somehow. And so if I'm not at work, I'll usually have this or some sort of jet lighter in my pocket just in case I want to have a cigar um, or, you know, like I said, who knows when you're going to need fire. But it's always good to have, have it for something. Uh, another thing I carry outside of work, I use a different knife. Um, I always have this knife on me. This is one of my favorite ones. This is a um, Kershaw Emerson blade. Um, absolute fantastic knife. Um, thing has cut through everything still keeps going. I've sharpened this once and it is still super sharp and will cut through everything so um, Absolutely love this blade feels great in the hand um, Haven't had any problems with it at all. Absolutely love it. Yeah, so um, So right now that's what we're carrying and let us know like I said down in the comments Let us know down what you guys carry obviously as the seasons change you might change what you carry a lot of people carry less in the summer Harder to conceal, harder to hide, hard, just harder to have stuff on you if you don't mm -hmm. have pockets. Um, however, um, this is what we carry pretty much on a daily basis, and we're gonna we're gonna link all this stuff down below. We're gonna be doing some more individual reviews of a lot of this stuff. Like I said, we use our stuff heavily, especially at work. Um, you know, what I mean, we put our uh, basically torture test some of this stuff uh, because yep. we have no choice to. Um, but it's great because the stuff holds up, and we're you know we're only willing to say quality stuff. You know what I mean? If something's mm -hmm. crap, we're going to tell you guys it's crap right away. Um, it's something that we're not going to keep carrying. It's something that we're not going to keep using. We'll tell you guys not to buy it. Um, and as for all the stuff that's in here and obviously the stuff that we can't carry that we do carry on ourselves on, on this channel, fill us along on Patreon. Um, we're going to carry a lot more man shit. We're going to start getting a lot more stuff up on Patreon. That is a Patreon only content. Um, but other than that, we thank you guys so much for helping this channel grow. Uh, we're almost about to hit 1,200 subscribers already. Uh